Shadow asks, curious as to how the Testo determines stove efficiency, how could one find out an efficiency number without a device like this? Oh, man. Yeah. Um. <laughs> well, <laughs> that's a really, really big question. And the short answer is there are ways to do it. Um, there's a long history of, of stove builders arguing about efficiency by, by weighing their stoves and measuring volumes of air and weighing air and um you know there's there's a whole lot of ways to attempt to measure efficiency without a testo but holy cow are they complex and they're probably not very accurate although you could get a pretty good ballpark i guess um but more than anything i don't think they're going to give you the information that that really helps you tune a stove, like how many parts per million of carbon monoxide am I putting out? You know, how, what is my ratio of oxygen? Um, how close am I to stoichiometric burn? You'll never get there. All you can really do is estimate the amount of energy in the fuel um, and then estimate how much you got out into the room versus how much went out in, out the chimney. Um, and there's way, tip, there's ways of doing that. It's always tricky. You know, you got volumes of air moving, you've got weights and so the way the testo does it to my understanding is is simple math um based on the oxygen i'm gonna get this wrong actually i probably shouldn't even go there but based on the levels the the you know it measures oxygen and nitrogen and i'm not sure if it calculates carbon monoxide at any rate it measures a few things and it's able to calculate the residuals in the gas profile from the stuff it can measure and by doing that um, and then included with measuring draft it's able to evaluate what it's really evaluating i think when they're evaluating efficiency is two things it's evaluating it has temperature sensors and air sensors on the external unit and it's also pulling from inside the chimney so it's comparing those things temperature in the house temperature going out the chimney how much air is going how much carbon monoxide is in there how much nitrogen how much oxygen and in doing all that it can pretty much evaluate um, at what rate you're burning um, whether you've got a lot of excess wood gas in that exhaust that could have been burnt you know depending on how much um, fuel is left in there so um, you know it's always and I think that the numbers well I know that my numbers are very different than Peter's numbers we had our two, two testos side by side at Paul's place and our our efficiency numbers were like five percent I think difference and I called testo and asked about that and they use different calculations in Europe than they do here and it has something to do with the base calculation of woods energy output or or the base calculation for how much draft remains in the chimney something like that there's ways you can tweak those formulas and so it's a real slippery slope the numbers aren't straight comparable you can't look at one guy's stove and go he got an 87 and he got an 84 and that one's definitely better it's just it's really 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 um, there's a lot of nuance to navigate a lot so um, how can one find an efficiency number without a device like that yeah you you're really not probably gonna get there honestly um, and now these devices are becoming fairly ubiquitous you know they're, they're getting exponentially cheaper by the month um, so I think that before too long you know we'll start to have much more information on those things um, so I'm going to go back here, air cure and heat cure, speaking about the two refractories, says Belgian Gulch, and then Oren Coast Greenman says Testo looks at O2, CO2, CO, and CO2, and temperature hard to replicate all that data. Yeah, it, it is. It's, it's really hard to, to do anything close to that. So most of the old ways of doing it, like I said, were just measuring efficiency and they weren't they weren't able to discern carbon monoxide and things like that. So it was really just how much energy is in the fuel by weight and how much did we put into the room by temperature, you know, and how much did we send out the chimney? Um, 
a lot different than what we get out of the test dome. I don't know how you'd ever compare those numbers.